There's some confusion at the starting line and the teams, not waiting for the official flag, are off to an early start. Race officials will often call canoes back to the line in a situation like this. But because it's a pretty even start, no effort is made to call the crews back. At first the pack is tight, but just like last year, a small group of canoes come out hard and fast, establishing themselves early on. What they really want to do is get to the swells of the Pailolo channel first. The quicker they get surfing, the better. Leading the pack into the channel is last year's champions, Hawaiian Canoe Club, followed closely by Team Livestrong and Ironman crew Team Pa'a. So it was kind of a throw together crew a little bit. Some guys from Maui, some guys from Oahu. So really the plan was to just kind of fill it out and, and do the best we can. Everybody in the boat is really a solid paddler. And so we just tried to blend together to start with and get a rhythm. And we were kind of in the mix for a long time. So we were just having fun racing, making the most of the bumps, uh, working together and, and having a lot of fun. Any fears of not having wind or surf for today's race are quickly put to rest as 10 to 15 knot winds and 3 to 4 foot seas start delivering nice long rides. I like to come to this race because uh, surfing wise it's it's the best surfing race uh, I think of any race uh, the channel is you know has swells that are right behind you so you can catch really long runs about 30 minutes into the race and the teams have begun to spread out in the channel each strategically plotting a course that they think will bring them into Kanaka Kai the quickest In the women's race, Team Bradley, juicing every swell, has opened up a half mile lead. I mean, it makes us feel good, but you know, there's always, I mean, we always try to push ourselves if there's somebody close or if there's somebody far, you know, if, even if we have a big lead, we're trying to push ourselves and get the most out of it. I don't think we ever really relax. I think no matter what, what the conditions are, who's, who you're paddling against, you just have to go as hard as you can. Toward the middle of the women's pack, a few close races are unfolding, each team taking a different course. Some teams are getting the most out of the mid-channel swells and running with them on a southerly line, while others make for East Molokai, hoping to get a fast run along Molokai's south shore and a quicker arrival at Kanakakai. Depending on the tide and other ocean conditions, either strategy could prove to be more effective. The women's second place is a tough Hawaiian Canoe Club crew from Maui. While these women stay focused on holding a steady line for Kanaka Kai, an all-out battle begins in the men's race. Team Livestrong from Kona, who finished unofficially in second place last year, has caught up and passed Hawaiian Canoe Club, but Hawaiian is not about to give up its lead. Hawaiian uh, Canoe Club jumped in front of us at the start. And I think at one point might have had uh, up to a half mile ahead of us. And we just stayed on their line and tried to follow them. And, uh, you know, caught up to them a couple times and then they pulled away. 
and then we caught up again and they pulled away uh, but we just you know kept pushing and finally about an hour and a half into the race uh, we pulled even with them and then we were going back and forth for a while Well, we got out, we had a good, we had a really good start. We got out there and we know the course a little better. So we kind of wanted to peel away and not let them just follow us in. Because uh, with this course, it's easy to either go too far south towards Lanai or too far north and you get stuck inside. So I think we're all grateful to be able to have a little battle like that together. 